Noah Lyles recently conquered all there was to conquer at the 2023 World Athletics Championship in Budapest. He made history with his great golden endeavors. Lyles joined the ranks of Usain Bolt, Allison Felix, and Maurice Green by winning three gold medals at the WAC. The grand victory warranted a grand celebration. While Noah Lyles already shows behavior that says he's above all, this time he had good reason for it. However, the celebrations took an unexpected turn when he himself became a party pooper. He raised questions about the validity of the world champion title conferred upon NBA players. Lyle said that NBA stars don't represent any country and definitely don't represent the world. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States? <laughs> don't get me wrong. I, I love the US at times. <laughs> But that ain't the world. <laughs> that is not the world. We are the world. We have almost every country out here fighting, thriving, putting on their flag to show that they are represented. There ain't no flags in the NBA. <laughs> These remarks instantly caught fire and polarized the internet. The world watched as Lyles got ganged up on by NBA giants, who expressed both displeasure and anger toward him. The comments went viral on social media, and NBA champions like Kevin Durant and Draymond Green, who have both won titles with the Golden State Warriors, were quick to call out Lyle's remarks. Somebody better help this brother, Kevin Durant wrote in his comment on ESPN's post about Lyle's conference. Draymond Green commented, When being smart goes wrong, shortly after Durant. Other notable names in the NBA who took issue with the statement are Bam Adebayo and Aaron Gordon, who earned his first championship with the Denver Nuggets in June. Amid all the backlash, two of Lyle's track and field brothers came to his rescue and evened things out. American sprinter Fred Curley and hurdler Rye Benjamin joined voices with Noah Lyles and conformed with his opinion. Curley and Benjamin are also accomplished athletes who compete at the global stage along with Lyles. Curley uploaded a tweet and emphasized that the NBA is a national league by simply typing National Basketball Association. Rye Benjamin, on the other hand, laughed at the way NBA players got triggered and hyped Noah Lyles for it. He tweeted, NBA triggered, dog. Fellow American sprinter Shakari Richardson also took to Twitter to back up Noah Lyles' comments. I'm standing with Noah on this one. At Lyles Noah. The organization has players from different countries, but do they compete against different countries? You have to go against the world in order to be a world champion. While these posts gave some much-needed breathing room to Lyles, it also made the matter bigger. In fact, hitmaker hip-hop star Drake has also jumped in the fire now. The entry of Drake has stirred things up even more. The rapper commented on the video interview of Lyles where he trashed the claim of world champions by NBA stars. Drake said Lyles must have thought hard about the winning speech the night before, and it must have sounded good. However, he has now turned all of the NBA against him by meddling with the wrong crowd. The beef picked up by Noah Lyles is getting bigger and bigger. While the world championships are now over, the end of this salty matter isn't going to be visible anytime soon. Noah Lyles is seen as a worthy successor to Jamaican legend Usain Bolt by track and field enthusiasts. The American is on a mission to occupy every record in the sport and become the absolute emblem of excellence. He is not only chasing Bolt's records, but also his post-racing career decisions. Just like the Jamaican superstar who still makes headlines after his retirement with his other ventures, Noah Lyles wants to move past being track famous. He has starred in a documentary film, which premiered on August 18th. The new world champion said that his drive behind meddling came from wanting to draw more attention to himself. He wants to leverage this popularity to transcend into the mainstream and explore opportunities in music and fashion. Notwithstanding his personal reasons for the remarks against the league, the NBA athletes have clapped back at Noah Lyles. One interesting detail has emerged. The legendary NBA coach and now Hall of Famer Greg Popovich said the exact words more than 13 years ago. There are no world champions in the NBA, so anybody that has the flag up that says world champions is not correct. It's not appropriate. The world champions, I believe, are the Spanish team right now. USA is the Olympic champion. The Lakers are the NBA champion, he said about the situation back then. It doesn't make sense for an NBA team to call themselves world champions. I don't remember anybody playing anybody outside our borders to get that tag. Isn't that true? 
I keep waiting for somebody to tell me I've missed something. When the name of the Toronto Raptors was mentioned to Pop, he dismissed the argument. There's a team in Canada, that's true. The world's bigger than North America. I know sometimes we, as arrogant Americans, don't respond to the rest of the world, but it's true. There's a big world out there. The San Antonio Spurs, for example, have their NBA Championship banner saying NBA Champion, compared to the teams like Boston Celtics who have called themselves World Champions on their banners. Stephen A. Smith disagrees heavily and has come with some numbers. But the NBA currently features 120 players from 40 countries and six continents on its roster for last season, and it's increased now. So how is that not global? How is that not the world champion? The best players from around the world descend upon America to join the National Basketball Association. And the international players, rather than stay over there or electing to stay over in their respective countries or in Europe, China, or wherever the case may be, to play basketball, they want to come to the league, the NBA, because it's the best basketball league on the planet. Smith also said by virtue of the global nature of the NBA, they face international talent more regularly than Lyles, missing the point that Lyles wouldn't claim to be a world champion for winning his national championships or even a prestigious Diamond League meet. Lyles has revealed that he is glad that a conversation on the matter has been triggered after being an underline that has gone under the radar for so long. To be honest, I'm just glad that we're having the conversation. <laughs> you know, it's been a, a, an underline for so long, but nobody really wanted to talk about it. And, you know, with everybody actually saying things about it, now you have dialogue. And of course, you know, maybe there'll be opinions. Lyles won three gold medals at the 2023 World Championships in Budapest this past weekend and won a bronze medal at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Lost in the online discourse, of course, is the fact that the two sports are just structured completely differently. Track and field is predominantly an individual sport in which athletes represent a country and, at elite levels, an apparel sponsor. The NBA is, of course, a team sport in which athletes largely represent their team and host city. While both sports attract elite talent from every corner of the globe, NBA games are played in the United States and Canada and don't involve teams from top leagues in other countries, such as Spain or France. Track competitions are held at locations around the world, requiring its athletes to compete against the world's best on their own turf. Despite the backlash, Lyle stood by his comments. He reposted those defending his stance on his social media accounts and emphasized the need for his sport to flaunt its inclusivity compared to others. He reiterated his belief that to grow his sport, they need to be presented to the world. Hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think about Lyle's statement? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content. Also, if you want to be up to date with the best sports news, hit that notifications button. Thanks for watching.